How's it going guys? And welcome back for another video. This right here is a 180 parallel fusion efficient nuke. This time I want to go ahead and start off this video a little bit different. If you guys watched the last video, I kind of explained a little bit about parallel fusioning. Now a lot of you guys have actually messaged me that you quite didn't really understand what I was talking about. So I thought in this video right here, I would go a little bit more into deep of what I actually mean and what is parallel fusion. So I set up this little nice area right here where you can actually see the cannon itself. Now this right here is an all ordinary cannon that you guys might be used to if you played a while back so this right here is a normal cannon so what this is right here is that this right here is the power itself see the power goes here getting boosted over to this block right here of course getting realigned in the meantime then what we have right here is the sand coming in from right here and we also have the hammer coming in right here now everything right here will go like this and then it will uh, shoot off the power and the shove will go to the wall now this right here is not parallel because as you can see the sand is closer to the power than the hammer. This means that the sand is getting more velocity than the hammer. But what exactly is the difference? Well, if you can imagine that this right here, every single block that I place right here might be around five, uh, 5 chunks. So as you can see, as we're getting around 20 chunks out, you can see that the sand starts to dip. And that is a completely normal thing for a cannon to do once it starts to run out of power for the full straight shoot. So what's going to happen right now is that this this sand right here is going to hit this filter because this has kind of around 90% of the velocity is for the sand right here as you can see so it's kind of high up. Now let's go ahead and write the same path for the uh, hammer. Now the hammer of course will be inside the same block I just can't put it inside it. So what's going to happen now is that you see it, it struggles before it hit, hits the dip point where the sand is dipping because the power is now further away from the hammer than it is from the sand which means that the hammer is forced to dip before any, anything else and then as of course it's going to dip like that. So that pretty much means that our sand right now and our uh, hammer is not in the same path. Which as you can see right here is because of the velocity from the sand to the hammer or so to the power. And then from the power to the hammer. As you can see the power, sorry, hammer is way further away. Which also means that the hammer will dip before the sand does. Now that is kind of an issue. Because as you can see right now while the sand are hitting this filter right here. Our hammer is going actually underneath it which in this case right here is an issue because now it won't be able to stack and this is exactly what the filters is uh, meant to do. This is how it was designed. It is to split up the sand and the hammer. Now this was truly efficient back in the days but since we have parallel fusion now filters doesn't doesn't really matter unless you are thinking about maybe using an anti-gravity on someone's base. Personally I would probably uh, not use an anti-gravity no matter what but if they don't have any filters you might actually be able to use an anti-gravity. Now as you can see the sand is getting stuck in this filter the hammer right here and when this one explodes the sand is just gonna go ahead and go like outright right here and not really you know do anything whatsoever so that's pretty much a normal cannoning now what is parallel fusioning now parallel fusioning is when everything is inside the same block it doesn't matter if it's out here or if it's out here as long as it's inside the same block it's pretty much parallel but of course you want it as close to the power as possible but this right here includes um, the sand inside this TNT there is the hammer inside the TNT, the scatter is here, the one shot sand, the nuke is here, the second hammer is here, everything inside this block right here at the exact same time so no nothing is getting more velocity than anything else. Now what that means is that once you go ahead and fire one more time you're gonna see as soon as it starts to dip and it goes right there then we have our hammer going in the exact same path. So as you can see now we can even bypass this right here and we can actually stack this down now because everything is in this exact same block so nothing is getting caught on this one right here because if our hammer gets caught on this uh, filter up here so will our sand because it's parallel this means it gets the same velocity now that is pretty much parallel fusioning now this right here it's kind of an overdone parallel fusioning way but it's also because we kind of want to get this adjustment and stuff like that this one here is what i call the bridge the bridge itself is where everything is going to be collected before it shoots out now as you can see right here this right here is our power and of course we have a massive amount of power because we need the y velocity so what's going to happen now when we have this right here is that it's going to end up going right here. This booster right here is going to get realigned and then it's going to shoot out the power which is being, being located right here. The same happens with the hammer which is located right here. It's sliding off this trapdoor right here and it's going to be located around right here of course with a small uh, trapdoor distance so it's a little further down than this. The same happens with the red sand. It's going to be in the exact same block as the hammer. There's no difference. The same with the sand. It's coming in from right here. Let me actually explain you how that works. I'm pretty sure you've seen my dual side compressions before but what happens is that they are getting both 
uh, boosted over to this um, side right here from these boosters. Now what's going to happen is that this booster right here will boost all the sand up to this. Now if you remember from some of our videos, always said that it always calculates the y velocity first. Well that's the exact same right here. So it tries to go up, but it can't go further up. So what it does is that it slides over to this uh, ladder right here. Now that it's right here, then this booster here goes off, of course, realigned as well. And the only thing that this sand right here can do, because it has, it, it the, the rule says it has to calculate the y velocity first. So instead of going this way first, it starts to go up. So now we are located around right here. And then when it hits this trapdoor right here, then it can start sliding. And then it slides, slides, slides all the way over into this piece of TNT. Now every thing that we have it means the nuke the second hammer the hammer itself the one shot sand even the scatter or whatever is located inside this block right here nothing less nothing more everything inside the exact same block now that my friends is parallel fusioning so this right here is also very efficient since the, uh, everything is so close to the power itself now this right here shoots around 80 chunks which is kind of crazy so the first thing i want to show you guys is that if we are going to shoot straight with around right here of course, of course it calculates the y velocity first so it slides up here and then it goes out but before that let's go ahead and copy the sand right here and also i will be using a command from now on that i will be able to press the cannon or without actually being at the cannon the way i do that is that i use a plugin that this server has to p fire and it will actually fire for me now before that let's go ahead and shoot straight this right here we'll just go ahead and uh, nuke this wall right here right in front of us this would be the first step in the video as well I'm sorry about the lag right here, um, I, that's not really anything I can do about it. So this one nuked all the way down and we can continue a for 80 chunks if we wanted to. Now what's more interesting is how you adjust the barrel itself. And it's so extremely simple to adjust the barrel on this cannon right here. All you gotta do, that's <laughs> almost for barrel, uh, you have to get a ladder, which I apparently can't get, there we go. So when you get a ladder, you can either choose to do it on this side or this side. The difference between those is that the hammer, or sorry, the power will stop right here and then the shot will go right here, which means, of course, if it shoot to the right, this is this way. Then if we move the ladder, if we move the ladder over to this side, the power will go all the way over to the end, while the shot or the, the hammer and whatever would go right here, which means if it shoot to the left. So let's go ahead and shoot to the left. Uh, let's place it as this right now. What you need to shoot to the left um, is you need this right here, which is a guider. You don't need this side right here. It doesn't really matter about this side. It's, nothing will get here, so don't worry about that. We're, right now, we are shooting to the left. So what you can do now is that you can get these stop points right here. So this right here will stop on this one because I placed this block right here and it's going to hit in the middle of that wall. Let's go ahead and see if that is actually indeed true. First shot coming in right now and should be nuking the wall. Now let's say that you don't want to aim here and you just want to go further out. Well, you have 150 blocks to go with. You can go or do whatever you want and it's going to work at all ranges up to 150 blocks away, which is a pretty big deal because you can pretty much shoot the entire base if you wanted to. So right now we're shooting around 100 blocks out and let's go ahead and take the last 50. This is located over here. Here. Now we're using the last 50 here and this is quite far away as you can see it can't even load the cannon from here So we are indeed shooting quite far away, but it's still working just fine And it can still go through the entire buffer even though you adjusted 150 blocks Now if you want to go ahead and go to the right All you got to do is change the ladder to the other side and you should be able to go this way Now I quickly want to say on psycho there is some problems when sliding TNT I think or something is, is, is fucking it up. I'm not really sure uh, but if it doesn't work, just go ahead and do it that like that. It's gonna work then, and I don't know why. Also, on some servers, you might find yourself in a situation where it doesn't want to adjust it to the left. All you gotta do is change the ladder out with a trapdoor, and you will get everything a little bit closer, and it will actually make the shot. Now, this is only something I've experienced on Psycho, but it's just a little quick tip if the cannon doesn't work. Also, you can't put the trapdoor where the power is, because then it's gonna boom boom. Anyways, let's go ahead and change it to the right direction right here, and now let's go ahead and complete this. Because it's always trying to go up. It always trying to go up. So you need this one here to slide it on. Or else it's not really going to work that well. But let's go ahead and add this ladder right here. And we should be able to shoot this way right here. And I think that we're going to stop it on the first one right here. As you can see, it's already done. Actually, I think I'm going to stop it right here instead. So we can get in the middle of it. And this one here should be working without any problems as well. And the full nuke, of course. Beautiful. Let's go to the next step. This right here is a little bit further away. Again, it can go 150 blocks without any problems. So if if you're not actually shooting the right place, you can just go ahead and adjust the barrel. You can even adjust the Y 
body at the same time if you wanted to so you can shoot anywhere you want there's no limitation on how this works of course if you want to adjust it to these sides right here you do need to shoot either north or south but of course it kind of works in all directions uh east north east or whatever but of course the adjustment does have some limitation if you're working on some servers that haven't fixed that so as you can see it worked out beautifully now what's gonna happen let's we change the y so what if i want to actually i just want to shoot down here why not so what's going to happen now is that it's going to go right here instead of course i've removed the ladder so it's going to go straight but it's just going to go ahead and hit this right here so you can change the y you can change the set you can change the x so you can shoot wherever you want but i think that will be just about it for this video here guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you do remember to like this video here comment down below if you have any issues with this canon whatsoever also if you have any suggestions for this channel go ahead and leave them down in the description uh, so in the comment section as well now also remember to join my discord giveaway where i'll be giving away tons of prizes i've already gave away over 60 bycraft things from all kind of different servers so make sure that you check the description for that link but anyways guys remember to subscribe to my channel my name is Dexter and I'm out